Hi and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan and in this video I'm going to be doing a viewer request topic and looking into the question, what will your future in-laws think of you and what will you think of them? There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the fluorite. Group two is the clear quartz. And group three is the amethyst. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead. And up next is a close up photo of the crystals to help you better make your selection. Hi, group one. You chose the fluorite. So let's start by taking a look at what will your future in-laws think of you? So the first one we have is Keeper of Time. So there's almost going to be a sense that your future in-laws are going to feel that maybe their child had to go through certain heartbreaks, certain disappointments, or even just ups and downs in life in general in order for them to be prepared for your arrival into their life. So there's a sense that you bring forth a level of maturity into the situation or that you are some kind of gift in life love for their child as a result of things that they have been through, um, things that they have needed to overcome, trials and tribulations, kind of a light at the end of a tunnel. So maybe uh, when you meet your future spouse, this could be something where they have come through a difficult time. You may be something that really, uh, somebody that kind of really helps their child through a very difficult time or sort of renews hope or instills hope in the future for themselves or as far as love is concerned. Um, this could be something where when you when you meet their child, they have essentially almost kind of given up on love or hardened their heart in some kind of way, and you really revive this individual. You bring them back to life. It's almost the sense that um, you turn back the hands of time and bring out more of a youthful quality within your future spouse, which is something that your future in-laws are really going to deeply appreciate. Um, for some, it may almost be the sense that it could bring them to tears almost the way in which they may witness sort of a, a change like night and day between kind of the version of their son or their daughter that they were dealing with or, you know, that was kind of in their life prior to you turning up on the scene or the relationship between the two of you deepening um, to where it's almost there's like a vitality that is brought back into their child through your presence in their life, which it feels like is something that your future in-laws are going to have a lot of gratitude for. Um, there's a sense too that they're going to feel that you look younger than your age or that you're, you're, you age very well, um, which is a sense of almost, it feels like congratulations on their part to their child that, you know, they'll, they'll have a partner that will continue to be attractive, um, you know, deep into, into kind of as the years go on. There's a sense too that your future in-laws will also think that you are wise beyond your years. You are somebody who um, gives really good counsel or you've had a lot of life experiences to where they will really value and respect your opinion um, about certain things, you know, as they're getting to know you or anything that you really kind of share about your life, anything that they come to discover about the path that has led you to the point of intersection with their child. And then as that relationship develops, 
develops. Um, it's a sense too that you are able perhaps to even kind of um, help their child to process any kind of pain and disappointments that they have gone through in their own life and kind of crystallize that into wisdom. So either walking with them as they endeavor that path on their own um, or things where the nature of your relationship with this individual helps them to actively kind of move through things, move through disappointments, start to look on the brighter side, start to pick up the pieces and uh, maybe push towards a better sort of future for themselves. If they've settled or they're in any kind of like a rut in any area of their life, this may be something as well where your future in-laws really um, admire and appreciate the fact that you motivate your future spouse to um, reach for something more, to try and repurpose the circle circumstances that they are that they are dealing with something where they may see that um, you know you're a keeper you're you're somebody that um, is good to sort of stand by their child's side through thick and thin we also have create so they may see you as a very unique individual. They may really value kind of your uh, way of looking at the world, your your opinions on certain things, or maybe ways in which you present yourself, uh, your sense of style, the life you've created for yourself, what you do for a living, life experiences that you've had that may be very different from anyone that they've ever known before, very different from anyone that their child has ever dated or had romantic feelings for before. Um, and so it feels to be something that you almost open your future in-laws eyes to a different kind of way of being um, something that at first there there may be kind of this energy of just taking you in just absorbing you because they've never encountered anyone like you before and so it feels like it may be very inspirational kind of like a breath of fresh air sort of energy you may be very different, um, you know, from kind of other people within the family dynamic as well. So it feels like you add a little bit of zestiness or spice into uh, into the family dynamic. And it feels like something that as kind of your future in-laws and um, any brothers or sisters-in-law kind of get to know you, there's, there's a sense that they deeply appreciate kind of the unique perspective, the flair that you bring into, into the family. There's, there's more laughter. There's um, wider perspectives on things. There's, there's more of a creative way of, of kind of interacting with one another or, or looking at the world or thinking of the world. This may be something as well that you really help to bring out a creative side within your future spouse, which is something that your future in-laws deeply appreciate. If this is a person who is naturally creative and maybe they've been going through like a block in some sort of sense, a creative block, a writer's block, um, struggling to sort of find their muse, this can be something where your future in-laws really value the fact that you you inspire your future spouse. You may be their muse or uh, or their inspiration, or you may kind of be linked on some sort of creative journey. Uh, it may get your future spouse kind of creating again, uh, pursuing those things that they are passionate about, any kind of artistry or uh, just a way of kind of reinventing their life in a creative fashion that it feels like is very reassuring. It takes some sort of weight off the shoulders of your future in-laws who may have really struggled to kind of um, watch that sort of spark or that passion kind of dim from their child's eyes or uh, maybe take on more of kind of a, um, a darker tone and there's something, you know, in terms of like any heaviness or, or sadness or heartbreak, disappointment, depression, that may have been something that really kind of influenced your future spouse's art, their artistry or just the way in which they were choosing to live their life in like a very unique and creative way um, up to the point where they've met you when you come into their life or the relationship deepens and all of a sudden they're passionate again. They're looking at things from more of a brighter perspective or even able to start to alchemize some of that internal pain through creative outlets, which may, again, be kind of uh, reassurance to your future in-laws that they that your, your future spouse has um, connected with someone that can really help to kind of um, walk them through the ups and downs in life, find a way to kind of process everything that may be churning or held inside um, out into something beautiful, out into something positive, Positive, out from a place where it's just sort of kept and held within. And we 
you also have seek counsel. So this is supposed to be something that your future in-laws will see you as somebody who is very trustworthy, um, somebody who when you speak, your, your words hold weight or there's a wisdom to that. Um, they may see you as very compassionate as well, somebody who's always eager to kind of uh, lend a helping hand or you're a really good listener. Um, you know, you're, you're somebody who you know what it is that you're talking about um, when it comes to giving advice, maybe to, you know, their child or to um, other people within that family unit, or it may even be something where you are in a healing or helping profession or this is just something that's like a natural component of you. You may, your light or your energy may draw in a lot of people in their hour of need. And it feels like something that your future in-laws will really respect the way in which you, um, you know, you try to extend yourself to other people. You try to make the world kind of a better place than you experienced it as, or, um, you know, you help to kind of um, navigate or, or encourage others to navigate through their own sort of troubled waters, um, which it feels like is a quality and characteristic that your future in-laws may just value in general, or the way in which you do that, the way in which you kind of um, help people to transmute energy even. Um, this is something that it might be very kind of reassuring for them that um, any difficulties that their child may face, or even just the family in general, that it's like to have somebody like you within this family unit, um, there's almost more confidence that people can overcome things, people can endure, people can find a way through those difficulties without kind of uh, becoming submerged in any sort of heaviness or, or sort of disappointing experiences. And we also have clear away old energy. So your future in-laws will see you as a very brave person. Any kind of major transitions that you've made, anything you've had to walk away from, you've had to choose yourself, um, you know, over things that might have been kind of holding you back in life, any struggles that you have endured and you have overcome, you've triumphed on the other side of that. It's something that they're going to have a lot of deep respect for, for you as a person, and also a lot of admiration for, that you were able to kind of navigate your own personal personal journey in the way that you did, that you made the choice to kind of choose life or choose hope or choose yourself um, over stagnation or anything that was very toxic. And it may be something that um, helps them to feel that like their child's safe with you. They entrust their child with you. Any kind of difficulties, anything that may be limiting or holding their child back, they may see you as somebody that is that is that proper companion, almost like a guardian angel or a godsend, um, you know, to keep their their child kind of motivated to to stay in line, to continue to um, push for something more. Or maybe there's something even in terms of your personal struggles, your experiences, battles you've had to fight in your life and, and the victories, um, as well as the losses that you've incurred and how you've kind of moved forward, that might align very deeply with things that their own child has been through. So there's a sense of camaraderie or companionship with that, um, ways in which you are able to maybe understand or empathize with their child in a way that others in the family cannot. Um, and so it almost feels to be something that it helps to bring their child out of a space of isolation. And that's something that they deeply kind of appreciate. Um, there's a sense here of like, like birds of a feather between you and your future spouse. Um, and so this is something that it feels like helps to encourage your future in-laws to embrace you even more deeply within the fold of the family unit um, because they're seeing that uh, you and your future spouse almost operate very well as a team or you can understand one another in kind of these subtle ways, things that you've been through, things that you've had to kind of move beyond or, or come to terms with in, in terms of life experiences, even if they look very different on the outside, uh, there may be similar kind of themes of, of like reinvention, metamorphosis, personal transformation, personal growth, all of those things that feels like help your future your in-laws to see that um, this is like a deeply aligned connection. This is this is something that, again, their child needed to go through things or, or kind of reach a place of maturation in their life um, in order to align with someone like you and that that's a very positive thing. It makes them feel almost grateful for things that could have been difficulties that their child faced and, and yet on the other side, even though there's been personal triumph, uh, that there's also like a higher vibrational love that is that is accessible and available to them. And we also have Ascension. So your future in-laws will see you as 
way beyond anybody that their child has dated before, has been in a relationship with before. If the if your future spouse has been married before, there's a sense that um, you far surpass the qualities of their previous spouse, even on their best day. Um, what you bring to the table is an enlightened energy, a healed energy, a higher vibrational energy. Um, it would be safe to say that you are by far the favorite of, of anyone that their child has brought home, is introduced to them, or that they've even heard about, um, that, their, that their child was kind of interacting with it, previous chapters of their life, romantically speaking. Um, so again, it's, it's kind of this energy that really helps your future spouse or your future in-laws as well to kind of um, respect or understand the journey your future spouse has been on in order to become the person that they've become. It's almost like they've gone through some things and they've now then earned the ability um, to connect with and have a have a relationship with and, and get married to and build a life with somebody who um, isn't just kind of low vibrational or easy access, but it's something where they're, it feels very definitive that your future spouse has had to kind of earn their place in your life. And so it gives your future in-laws more respect for the process that their child has had to go through in their life in terms of personal growth. Um, and what came on the other side of that, it feels like is, is very positive things for this individual for themselves, but then also a very um, positive romantic connection. And it also feels to be something that if your future spouse dated people in the past or was married to someone in the past or, um, you know, had long term relationships, there may have been a lot of conflict or friction within those situations in terms of like the larger family dynamic, those previous partners, those previous people could have almost brought out the worst in your future spouse or um, created certain like wedges or difficulties within those kind of inner family dynamics or, um, you know, even kind of like friendships or, or, or things that were uh, kind of core qualities about your future spouse. And very contrary to that, there's a sense that you create unity. Um, you, you may be somebody who helps to kind of erase any sort of, um, wedges that may exist between your future spouse and, and other family members, siblings, or, or even kind of the, the parents or, or extended family members. It's almost like you're a peacekeeper, you're, you're a bridge, you're somebody that helps the family to kind of heal and, and overcome difficulties, overcome uncertainty, overcome any kind of uh, residual sort of heartbreak or disappointment even that they were holding on to um, for what your future spouse has been through that there's a sense that you bring a lot of healing uh, energy into the situation, a lot of healing energy into your future spouse's life, and that that's something that uh, your future in-laws deeply respect, admire, and are very grateful for. And we also have success. So they see you as a very, or they will see you as a very kind of uh, driven person, a very motivated person. What you set your mind to, you accomplish. Um, something where they may really appreciate the ways in which your life path or your goals, or your purpose aligns very deeply with those of their child. So that there are not necessarily compromises or sacrifices of things that are meaningful to this individual that need to be made in the interest of the marriage, in the interest of the relationship. Um, it's almost a sense that the two of you may really sort of complement one another and and help to kind of elevate uh, the level of success or encourage one another on those individual paths to success, which it feels like is something um, that your future in-laws deeply respect and admire. They're very grateful for that. Um, it may be where you help your future spouse to overcome any kind of, again, like creative blocks, blocks of abundance, self-esteem blocks that have kind of uh, limited the life that they were living. You you bring forth a vitality. You bring forth a sense of worthiness within your future spouse um, and really help to um, kind of encourage them to continue to strive and, and become that ever-evolving kind of better or best version of themselves and to accept and love themselves very deeply on the days or the times in their life um, where it's a challenge or struggle struggle to, to kind of be that better self, be that best self. And so this feels like something that your future in-laws will really respect that and, and see you as a very supportive partner um, to their child, which is something very valuable. So let's see what you will think of your future in-laws.
Okay, so we have seek the lesson. So this is almost a sense that kind of ties into this element of sort of that these are also very wise people. You also respect the counsel that they have to give. There may almost be sort of um, encouragement or advice or support that they give you professionally speaking um, in terms of any goals or dreams that you're working towards where you really value and respect these people's opinions, maybe due to um, paths that they've carved out for themselves um, or or ways in which it's almost they bring forth advice from a very good place or a very well-meaning place. You may also see these people as as very kind of um, heart-centered. They speak from the heart. They're very loving individuals. This may be very different from um, you know the the parents or the family members of anyone you've dated before, anyone if you've been married before. Um, again, that energy of kind of night and day compared to the previous experiences. There's a lot of love um, that it feels like you will recognize as kind of the binding force within the large your family unit and that your future in-laws, any kind of, um, you know, brothers and sisters-in-laws, they, they welcome you with open arms. They make a place or, or are able to kind of accommodate very well um, who you are as an individual. You won't just feel like an outsider or, or like the accessory, um, you know, somebody's spouse. You, you will feel like part of that family. You will feel very included and very incorporated, um, which it feels like is, is something that helps you to understand and appreciate maybe with previous relationships you've been in, um, why in kind of the larger sense it, w it was not a good fit. Um, why those, it almost may give you gratitude for other relationships you've been in previously that fell apart um, because there's a sense that you are accepted or you are welcomed or, um, you know, they take the time to get you to know you as a person in a way that maybe other people uh, that you've been with that their their family members never did or, or maybe you were judged or, um, you know, there was negative directed towards you from other previous people's family members. It feels like it'll be very different with your future spouse or there's a lot of love that that comes. They kind of embrace you and, and, and bring you in as if you were one of their own, as if you were one of their own children. We also have have courage. Um, so it feels like you will see your future in-laws as very strong-willed people, very determined people, very independent people, very courageous people in, in and of themselves. Maybe they've been through some difficulties or obstacles um, and they've had to kind of advocate for themselves. Maybe there's something about their love story um, that they sort of beat the odds to be together with one another or things that they need to go through, trials and tribulations, ups and downs, and yet they stuck through it. Um, you know, they, they endured the storms and came out on the other side stronger um, as a couple or even, again, as like that larger family unit. And it feels to be something that you will really look to kind of the relationship that is modeled um, between people within that family uh, dynamic as something that is good to emulate within your own marriage, within your own created family. Or uh, maybe this will be a blended family where it's like a step-parent situation. And um, so something where it almost feels that you recognize your, your future in-laws or um, you know, any brothers and sister-in-laws as, as kind of working as an advocate for the relationship, for kind of, um, you know, creating sort of that smooth blending between people or, or kind of being those, those uh, uh, ambassadors or the, or the peacemakers or, or something that kind of um, helps to sort of encourage, you know, the, the empowered growth um, of that family in general rather than just sort of uh, segmenting or um, kind of keeping people ostracized, that there's almost a sense of uh, kind of bringing people together. It may also be where when you see your future in-laws kind of relating to anything that they're involved with as far as like community, um, you know, their friendships, the way they relate to other people, there there may be a sense that these people are these people are leaders. Um, they they kind of bring individuals together and and create joy or, or strive to kind of create or generate community. Um, you know, in a very sort of unique way or in a very inspirational way. And so that might be something that helps you to um, kind of reimagine sort of the nature of the influence of a marriage, the influence of a couple outside of just behind closed doors, but how that sort of reflects in um, the example that is set for, for sort of larger um, communities or, or ways in which it may inspire you for things that you and your future spouse will, will endeavor to, to kind of do in terms of that larger community uh, outside of just a family unit. 
We also have ocean, ebb and flow. So it may be something where the nature of conversation or the way of relating family gatherings, family dinners, that might be something that is very different. The structure of that, the things that are talked about, the way that people relate to one another, that can be very different from your family of origin, things that you're used to. Um, it may be something as well that you feel very involved. You're, you're not just kind of um, sitting there as an accessory, but you know, you're, you're actively involved. People want to know what you think. They, they want your opinion. They want your input um, to where it might almost be something where you're looking forward to family gatherings. You're looking forward to those family dinners or those, um, you know, those celebrations, not as something that is obligatory, but something that actually is a lot of fun. It's maybe a very close-knit family to where, um, you know, it's not just holidays or special occasions that people are getting together, but it's like a regular occurrence. And that might be something that uh, is very different from what you've experienced in previous relationships you've been in or even your family of origin. And so it feels to be something that it's almost like a breath of fresh air in terms of um, the way that those kind of functions take place, the, the nature of, um, you know, people able to kind of hold space for, for different opinions or, um, you know, for as much as there may be kind of passionate debates or, or discussions, there's also a lot of joy and a lot of praise that is exchanged. Um, so it feels like it helps to kind of open your eyes to a different form of communication uh, between family members or even just people in general that it feels like is, is an outlet where you gain a lot of emotional kind of fulfillment from the time spent with your in-laws. We also have fairies, earth magic. So there may be things that are very quirky about your uh, future in-laws or, or your you know future kind of extended family. Um, something that really encourages you to kind of just step into your uniqueness. These are people maybe that don't um, you know wear a mask when they're at home. They're they're kind of just being their authentic selves. Um, you know they're letting their their very kind of unique vibration or their peculiarities just uh, stand out in a very unapologetic way. And so it feels like it's something that it helps you to relax within those situations and to just be yourself, um, that you will see them as very accepting of who you are. And it's something that it feels like you may even look at this as like a, like a sanctuary or comfort zone. Um, when you are at family gatherings, when you are dealing with your in-laws or, or brothers and sisters-in-law or any kind of um, extended family on the part of your future spouse, um, that there's a sense of almost like you can be yourself. You, you can be you. There, there's not so much of a need to kind of uh, put on an act for people or, or hold hold a lot of yourself back or you know, just kind of constrained to an image. Um, even if you're very different from these individuals, it's a sense that they're very open-minded, they're they're very accepting, um, and that that feels to be something that encourages you to to kind of give more of yourself, um, to share who you are, to, to share the way in which you look at the world, um, to again, kind of value the experiences of spending time with these individuals. We also have blessed. So it feels like you'll you'll feel very grateful that um, not only that you have your future spouse, but everything that comes with this person, um, everything as far as their, you know, their parents, their brothers and sisters, their extended family, their family traditions, um, you know, the ways in which kind of people hold space for one another or create closeness with one another. It feels that it's something that it maybe even helps to kind of heal or repair any sort of deficits in your own current family dynamics on your side of the equation, um, any experiences from childhood where you felt there were things lacking um, or, or kind of a deficit of love. It almost feels to be something that your future in-laws, your extended family welcome you with open arms and kind of help to fill in and, and heal those sort of gaps within you emotionally speaking. Things that you sort of wished had been the case about your childhood in sort of an ideal sense or, um, you know, maybe just like closeness and, and a level of warmth between people and sort of genuine interest in one another. Um, there's a sense that you you get to experience that with your future in-laws and um, sort of everything that your future spouse brings into into the equation of your marriage. And so it's something that it's it's beyond just the blessing of love with that individual. It's, it's also um, that you get this kind of exponential love in, in the form of these other people that, that sort of embrace you into the fold take you in as one of their own and it feels to be something that um, really helps to rewrite in a very positive way your idea of what family means. 
and we also have round and round. Um, so there's a sense of consistency with this. You will see that and feel that your future in-laws are who they say they are. They they are consistently, um, you know, either very outspoken or, or very kind, very considerate. These are people who are very interested, uh, not in kind of a hovering or invasive way, but in a, in a sense that they're very engaged in, in kind of the well-being of the people within the family unit. Um, these are people who won't just kind of let people fall by the wayside or suffer in silence, but they, they are individuals who will kind of um, get in to try and problem solve, will get in there to, to try and uh, lend a hand, or, or it's almost like if there's someone in their hour of need, everybody gets on board to support that person, which again may be very different from what you've experienced in terms of the interpersonal dynamics with other people you've had relationships with, other people you've been married to previously, um, or even your own sort of family of origin, so it helps to break free from sort of an expectation maybe even um, of, of what family can mean, the lengths that family will go to to sort of support one another or, um, you know, help one another or be there for one another, even if it's in the form of tough love, that might be something that takes on a very sort of um, different or unusual face compared to what you've known. Um, and so it feels to be something that again, helps to kind of uh, heal or repair the damage or sort of course correct on anything you felt lacking, any ways in which you have felt your own family has kind of been of disservice to you or um, hasn't really cared or, you know, just anything that was kind of broken about your experiences with your family currently or in the past. It's a sense that um, your, your future in-laws, that extended family, um, it really helps to compensate even, and it may help you to even kind of endure sort of the the weightedness of disappointment about your own experiences as far as family's concerned, you at least get the benefit of you're brought into the fold of, with a different kind of family um, that, that helps to really sort of nurture and, ch and make you feel very cherished in the ways that you uh, might not feel with your own sort of family of origin, which it feels like is something that you, you deeply appreciate um, and it helps to kind of uplift and, and heal things within you emotionally speaking. So let's get some initials. It's going to be a first, middle, or last name of you or uh, anybody in this equation, um, or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got F, C, M, Q, K, A, N, Y, E, S, F, S, B, H, D, and R. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. You chose the clear quartz. So let's start by taking a look at what will your future in-laws think of you? we have retreat. So it feels like this is an energy that your future in-laws will see you as a departure in a very positive way for maybe a tendency within their child to trauma bond with individuals or a certain type that they had gravitated towards before in terms of partnerships that had led to a lot of difficulties, people that kind of brought out the worst in their child or just sort of um, maybe even a person that they were involved with in a long-term 
sense that was like back and forth that created a lot of sort of turbulence or chaos um, within their child's life that there's almost a sense of deep gratitude and relief that their child has been able to finally like release that relationship, heal that trauma bond, recognize it for what it is, um, or to step beyond kind of a place of wounding within themselves that caused them to sort of attract in or, or call in or participate with certain um, types of individuals and that you're the healthier choice. You're someone that is very, you bring out a different side of their child than like other people had previously or, or a person they'd been dealing with previously, a long-term relationship, kind of a back and forth individual, or even a previous spouse that may have um, kind of brought out the worst within their child's personality or created a lot of wreckage or helped to create wreckage within this person's life. There's a sense of um, that they've transcended or, or stepped beyond some sort of threshold of that was just sort of the status quo, that was just normal, that was just um, all that there was or all that was to be expected. It feels like in this situation there might have even been a lot of um, uncertainty within your, your future in-laws as far as what, what sort of romantic prospects, what the future could possibly look like in love or even in life um, for their child due to sort of the nature of the people that they were calling in, uh, people that weren't supportive partners or Again, we're kind of bringing in a lot of ambient chaos or sort of uh, triggering the worst within this individual to sort of come out. Um, that there's a sense of you bring a lot of healing, you bring sort of a higher standard, you bring a better version of your future spouse out to the surface, um, which sort of puts the future in-laws kind of kind of hearts at rest or their minds at ease, um, that finally kind of a difficult chapter or difficult experience has been closed for their child. They, they put away the past, they've released that kind of negativity or um, have started to choose kind of better for themselves. They, they've raised their own standard or they've healed enough within themselves that they're now capable of kind of attracting in a different type of partner. So it feels like there's a lot of gratitude for, for your arrival, not just in terms of sort of the energies you infuse into their child's life, but in terms of um, helping them to kind of really recognize and be very proud of their own child for the ways in which they've sort of uh, overcome some personal struggles and are, are sort of sitting in the energy of triumph. And then they, they get the reward of um, kind of a higher quality or, or caliber of partner um, or, or just somebody that it's a healthier dynamic, it's a healthier relationship than what they've witnessed has been the case romantically for their child previously. We also have guidance is golden. So they may see you as somebody who is also a way shower for their child, who really helps them to um, kind of master their lower nature, overcome any sort of addictive tendencies, you know, tendencies to kind of be drawn towards chaos or create chaos. Um, they may see you as somebody who is sort of um, incentivizes your future spouse to kind of um, heal themselves, heal their wounds, strive for personal personal growth, um, strive for something better. And, and there's a sense that, again, there's a lot of gratitude that you, you kind of, you come in and you encourage your future spouse to really sort of um, stick with resolutions they've made within themselves or to kind of choose better, choose healthier for themselves in their life as a whole. Um, and that this is something that you're almost, the future in-laws may look at you as kind of like you're their answered prayer. You are exactly what your future spouse needs or, or has needed in order to sort of stay on task with certain things to get serious about their life, um, to, to start kind of taking the future into account in a more um, kind of precise or, or practical way. Um, something that they may see that there's a really good kind of team dynamic as well, that it feels like they appreciate. They, they feel that, um, you know, your future spouse is kind of encouraged to, to reach big for goals, but also um, to be very practical about things. So this may indicate your future spouse is kind of a dreamer or um, has kind of difficulty sort of following through on things. They may be somebody historically who's sort of started a lot of projects but hasn't really seen a lot through to completion or has made a lot of changes in their life, kind of just drifting, not really laying down roots, not really knowing their place, um, struggling to kind of find their own identity or find their way in the world. But there's a sense that um, when they've aligned with you, when you've come into their life, things have started to take on a positive turn. There's more follow through. There's more seeing things through to completion. There, there's more kind of work that is actively put in and, and sort of um, 
success that is achieved actually or or even kind of energetically speaking in order to sort of create something for themselves, create a life that they are excited to live um, rather than something they may feel they need to escape from constantly. So again, like a lot of gratitude that um, for you that your your future spouse has has come to the point in their life where they've been able to kind of magnetize somebody like you in, um, where the, the partnership between the two of you, it feels like there's a lot of love, but it also helps to really um, solidify or, or create like a solid foundation um, for other kind of individual goals and dreams. Your, your future spouse actually living up to their fullest potential rather than kind of dreaming big and, and making plans but not really seeing anything through to completion. There, there's a sense that um, there's a lot of follow through. There, there's a level of responsibility um, or, or taking life seriously that you elicit from your future spouse, which is something that your future in-laws are, are deeply grateful for. It feels that um, it makes them confident as far as like what the future for their child is, um, you know, after kind of life events happen or through the ups and downs in life. It might have been something that previously challenges that your future spouse would have experienced. They didn't have anyone um, who was really a solid person, who, who was really a, a good person or a responsible person. They didn't have people like that in their corner. And so it may have been where they just needed to sort of figure things out on their own or um, you know, were disappointed or, or had a lot of toxicity in terms of interpersonal relationships. But there's a sense that your future in-laws see you as a good person. You're a stable person. You're, you're you're a solid person. You have a good head on your shoulders. Um, you know you know yourself very well. Any struggles you've been through have, have built character for you. They see you as somebody with a lot of tenacity, a lot of grit, and that this is something that they feel adds into the measure um, of, of building a very hopeful future for, for their own child. And we also have become. So it feels that your future in-laws will see that you bring out the best within their child. You you help their child to become who they should have been. Um, your future spouse may be inspired to kind of choose a direction in their life, or it might even be something where your your future spouse kind of has some sort of an awakening. Um, they become purpose-driven. They, they reinvent themselves in some way, inspired by kind of a motivation to earn a place in your life, or even kind of... Um, you know, ultimatums you may have to give to this person early in your relationship. It's it's almost something that doesn't sort of break them down or, or, or kind of tear down elements of who they are, but it's a motivation for them to become better. It's a sense that your future in-laws really respect and admire any ways in which you have to maybe draw a line in the sand uh, for your future spouse that like they need to change things, they need to shape up about certain things, or even kind of a path of evolution that they've been on where they've tried to become more serious with themselves about certain aspects and then they've aligned with you who is that kind of motivator to continue to stay the course, to continue to choose better, to continue to evolve and develop and grow and sort of, again, transcend their lower nature or master that in some sort of way, there's a lot of gratitude that your future in-laws have. You are a godsend in, in their life. And so it feels that you hold a very kind of sacred position within this family unit because it's almost... It's not like you're the savior of their child, but it's almost the motivation to um, solidify the connection between the two of you or to, um, you know, earn your love, earn your trust, um, you know, become that person that they need to be in order to walk forth with you um, along your path to the future. It, it brings out the best within this individual. And so there's a sense that if you hadn't turned up in your future spouse's life, there may have even just been some things where they could have felt that their child would have been lost, even lost within themselves, and you've, you've given them purpose, you've given them direction, you've given them incentive or, or to motivate or motivation to kind of change their ways, clean up their act in some sort of manner. And, and so it's something that um, there's a lot of respect there. There's a lot of um, praise that may even be given outwardly and, and again just a sense of relief within your future in-laws that um, you've come across your future spouse, um, you, you crossed paths with one another or you came into 
your future spouse's life when you did. Um, there's almost a sense that they may feel that you save your future spouse from themselves. You save their life in some sort of way. So, so it may even be that the relationship really helps to uh, motivate your future spouse to, again, kind of choose a different road for themselves, move away from self-destruction towards healthier sort of habits, um, or even just the, the interactions with one another may help to kind of give your future spouse motivation to continue to try and become uh, a better version of themselves, which hasn't gone unnoticed, it feels like, by your future in-laws. We also have keeper of love. So they will see you as a very loving person, as a very nurturing person, somebody who um, leads with love, but also leads by example. You love yourself. You have self-respect. You have standards. You hold your future spouse accountable. Um, and so it's something to where it's almost your future spouse in some way may need to kind of follow through with an element of personal transformation they've been endeavoring when they encounter you in order to kind of keep pace with you in order to, um, you know, earn their place in your life or, or keep their place in your life. And it's something to where it's almost the discipline or motivation kind of motivated by love rather than kind of motivated by fear that actually brings out positive long-term transformation, uh, solid changes in character for the better with in your future spouse, which your future in-laws recognize. There's almost a sense that your future spouse is able to love themselves for the first time ever, accept themselves for the first time ever, um, that they become healthier, mind, body, spirit, soul, emotionally speaking. All of these things are, are kind of, it's the influence of you. It's the influence of this love. It's, it's that you are almost the harbinger of this kind of chapter of development within your future spouse, which there's a lot of gratitude, a lot of love for that, um, a lot of unconditional love and, and almost um, leeway that your, that your future in-laws give as far as, um, you know, the nature of your interpersonal dynamic with your future spouse, it's almost like they trust their child's life with you um, because you you lead with love. You you are somebody who does what is necessary for kind of the greater good, the greater good of the relationship, the greater good of people around you. They see you as somebody as like a protector or almost someone who loves very fiercely to be loved by you or to be um, in your heart is almost like a cloak of protection uh, in and of itself. It's it's an energy, it's an experience, it's an exchange which uh, kind of betters people. Um, you're somebody who doesn't kind of give up when times are tough, but you'll, you'll get in there and, and kind of help to work through things, maybe as like a problem solver or a motivator for those you care about. Um, you will go to extreme lengths for those you care about um, to make sure that kind of um, matters all come back to the heart, that, that love is what leads, that, that people know they are loved, they are respected, they are appreciated, they are not alone. And, and so this is a sense that um, your future in-laws really respect that, really admire that, really value that, because it may even be that, um, because it's like a parent-child dynamic, that their words of encouragement, their wisdom, their best intentions, it just doesn't get through to your future spouse. But when you come along, you're, you're able to kind of um, speak to their heart in a way that kind of encourages them to to do better or strive to be better or become better in a way that words or, or encouragement or even just kind of um, insistence or, or any difficulties, any conflicts within the family about certain things that have gone on. It's it's almost like your future spouse didn't listen when it came from their in-laws or, or, or it came from their parents or, or any kind of um, brothers and sisters within the dynamic, but somehow you're, you're able to speak to your future spouse. You speak to their heart. Um, you get through to them where other people could not get through to them. And so it feels like something that there's, again, like a lifesaver kind of energy or um, had you not come into your future spouse's life, there's almost a sense that your in-laws fear that um, some sort of fire inside of them would have just extinguished or um, kind of the prospects in life would have looked very, very kind of limited, um, very dark, very ominous. And, and there's a sense of hope that has been restored through your arrival. Um, there's a sense of things get better for your future spouse thanks to your influence in their life. And so there's a lot of gratitude for you as a person. We also have opportunity. 
So it feels that your presence within your future spouse's life opens a lot of doors of opportunity for them um, to do some necessary kind of healing and uplifting within themselves. You you help to really build your future spouse's self-esteem. You don't feed their ego. You you kind of redirect their attention to the nature of, of their soul, which which helps them to um, kind of be able to face some, some shortcomings about themselves, work through some difficulties and shadows um, to where their vibration raises. They they look better. They feel better. They they start to attract in better. They, they start to follow through with things. They create opportunity rather than kind of focusing on, you know, things of lack and, and are able to kind of maybe even repurpose obstacles into opportunities. All of that, your future in-laws credit with your influence. Your, it feels like your future spouse's life takes on a positive um, upswing in terms of their narrative arc when you come into their life or as the relationship between the two of you develops. Any kind of turbulence you need to go through uh, maybe in the initial phases until you know you reach that sort of solid commitment any kind of growing pains within the situation your your future in-laws have a lot of grace they have a lot of compassion for that it's something that they um, they sort of understand where you're coming from. You're you're motivated by love. You're leading with love. You're leading by example. Maybe ways in which you even kind of need to step away at a certain point from your future spouse before you're married or any kind of difficulties that occur within the marriage out of self-respect, out of a sense of, um, you know, wanting more, needing more for yourself, expecting to be treated in kind of a, a different way than, than maybe has been the case from the outset. All of that, it feels like, is something Something that will not encourage your future in-laws to just by default take their child's side, but they they see kind of your motivation, they see your point, um, they they see what it is that you're you're trying to accomplish or trying to instill or um, trying to bring into the equation, and so it feels like you get a lot of support from your your future in-laws um, as far as lifting your future spouse up, um, lifting them up beyond a tendency to self sabotage, lifting them up beyond a place of of kind of um, um, like a woe is me attitude or, or any sort of pessimism, challenges within their personality, inner, you know, challenges within their life, interpersonal challenges um, that they need to work through, kind of consequences of their actions in the past. And you are that motivator to to press through, to, to overcome, uh, to find a way to adapt and, and build beyond these things. And it's something that your future in-laws are, are very grateful for your influence. And we also have ascension. So there is a sense that um, you are much different than anyone that their child has been with before, that they've brought home before, that they've been in a relationship with before, that they were married to before. You're a breath of fresh air. You're, you're again, like a godsend or a blessing within the family unit. Um, you may help to really kind of uh, create growth as opposed to perpetuating kind of the erosion of interpersonal relationships. If there's been any kind of conflict or grudges between your future spouse and, and any of their family members, there's almost a sense that um, through the personal growth that you encourage within your future spouse, it also helps to improve those interpersonal relationships. Healing is brought into the situation and it is very obvious that it comes from your influence. So it's something that helps to um, kind of create a, big, a better legacy for the family in general. Um, there's a sense that they also see that if you have end up having children with your future spouse, that you're a very good mother, you're, you're a very good leader. You're, you're a very good protector. It's almost like the family is safe with you or, or, you know, there's hope kind of for the future of the ways in which people relating to one another, traditions are, are redefined. There's healing that's brought into this family unit rather than uh, kind of a perpetuation of woundedness or, or any sort of conflict. Um, if this is like a blended family situation, maybe you're functioning as a step parent or um, your future spouse is having a function as a step parent, that in and of itself also might kind of uh, bring out the best in everybody. Um, it helps to create kind of uh, healing of any sort of wounds over, you know, families that have been split apart or like broken homes. There's almost a sense that uh, you bring forth an invigoration where there's ways to sort of mend that. There, there's ways to kind of uh, create more joy out of like a sad situation or a difficult situation or confusing situations. And so there's a lot of gratitude on the, on the part of your future in-laws um, for your influence in that capacity. So let's take a look and see what you will think of your future in-laws.
Okay, we have change is unavoidable. So you may really have a lot of compassion for your future in-laws, things that they have been through, either related to um, struggles with your future spouse, other things that ha the family has been through in terms of ups and downs, um, losses, changes, um, you know, different sorts of circumstances. And there's a sense that um, you'll see kind of when you enter the equation that the family is maybe holding on by a thread or that difficulties have sort of taken their toll um, on people and so it feels like you'll really sort of see that your future in-laws have been doing the best that they have been able to do given some maybe very difficult circumstances. It can also relate to kind of like personality clashes between siblings. There could be a lot of sibling rivalry um, or just people that are very different, very unique, a lot of headstrong individuals all within one household um, to where it may be something where they almost have required someone to kind of come in as like a strategist. Um, that may be something where this is sort of a family unit that needed family counseling and they never got that. Um, Maybe that's something culturally that didn't resonate or, or they didn't know um, such things were possible or were available or people weren't open to that. People were operating in a place of like woundedness and so not everybody was on board as far as healing themselves, helping themselves, helping to repair kind of the larger family unit. And so it feels to be something that you may take almost like an observer stance. You're not so quick to judge your in-laws. You're not so quick to judge kind of uh, the siblings of your future spouse. It feels like you have a lot of loyalty to your future spouse, but you'll also kind of understand or be able to see that there's some sort of deep rooted pain, like a generational trauma or things that have happened within this family unit, um, that it may be something where you almost feel that maybe these are like soul contracts, soul connections, where you've almost kind of come into these people's lives um, as a way to kind of help heal them. Um, things that they may kind of even sort of show you or teach you that helps to ha helps you to have almost kind of gratitude for circumstances you've been through, or it might even help to kind of heal any sort of brokenness within your family dynamics, within your interpersonal relationships, um, because you're seeing it kind of mirrored within other people uh, in a different sort of way. And so it feels to be something that um, overall it's it's kind of something that there may be a little bit of sorrow related to the circumstances, but it's it's a sense of um, that you see these these individuals as very strong people, very well-meaning people um, who are hurt, who are wounded, who are perhaps broken, but but not past the point of no return. We also have stay strong. So again, this is the energy of like a family unit where there may have been the need to keep a lot of secrets, um, a lot of things that have sort of happened in the past with different family members that it's been sort of a challenge. It's been a struggle. Um, different people that have been through things that it's it's required almost kind of um, doing what people could needed to do or had to do in order to sort of get through the day. Um, the interpersonal relationships, the bonds may have really been strained. So there could even be people that are estranged from this family unit. Um, this could be a situation where, you know, maybe your future spouse isn't talking to their parents, isn't talking to brothers and sisters when you come into the equation. Um, and it feels like something that's sort of like over time, there's either peace and closure that's created from that. Um, you're able to kind of see or understand things from both sides of the equation and it also feels to be something that there's an element of sort of witnessing evolution within people, surprising evolution, ways in which even kind of interpersonal healing on the part of your future spouse opens the door to healing in these other kind of family dynamics. Um, so it feels like over time the bond sort of changes. Your view of your future in-laws and any kind of extended family members, it changes because it starts off maybe as kind of a tense, difficult, or, or broken sort of dynamic. Um, a lot of sort of underlying tension that maybe it takes time to get to the heart of it, to get to the root of the matter, but it's something it feels like that over the course of your marriage, you also witness this energy change. Um, people putting in the effort, love really leading. Once that sort of first step is taken, once one person evolves and changes, it, you start to really understand kind of how strong or, or how interconnected this family unit is, where at one point in time there may have been like codependency, but then when love sort of enters the equation and, and people start to um, 
kind of heal themselves, love themselves, it spreads, it becomes very contagious within that family unit. And so there's an essence of kind of, um, it may be something that is very valuable, very endearing, very worthwhile for you to sort of witness a broken family situation start to heal before your eyes. People start to communicate more. People start to respect each other more. People start to kind of find the tools within themselves to... Um, you know, sort of overcome deficits within, smooth out the rough edges within their own lives to where there's there's like compromise that's made as opposed to uh, maybe a lot of stubborn people or again, very headstrong people or different things that have occurred kind of prior to you entering the scene um, that had created wedges and barriers as a sense that those soften over the course of the marriage. And and so it's almost, you start to see these these individuals as like stronger people or, or re really, really willing to kind of go to uh, extreme lengths in order to, to fight to preserve the family unit or um, to overcome challenges so that love can sort of take center stage once again within the circumstance um, rather than kind of discord as may have been the case previously. We also have shaman, ancient healing wisdom. So um, it's a sense that you see that there's a lot of potency within this family, but there's also a lot of kind of brokenness, wounds that need to be healed. Um, something that, again, it might kind of outside of the realm of just your interpersonal dealings with these individuals on, on like an egoic level, there may be something within you that kind of feels that you've aligned with these particular individuals or within this structure um, in order to kind of be that even just a mediator for healing. Maybe this is something where uh, practices in your own life, perspectives in your own life, um, somebody takes an interest in that and, and it starts to create positive change within one person. Maybe it's your future spouse, maybe it's an in-law, maybe it's a sibling, and then that sort of spreads into the ways that other people start to think outside of the box or take accountability for themselves or um, strive to do something different to kind of overcome difficulties ways in which it feels like as well that you may recognize your future in-laws are kind of wounded by certain experiences they've had with your future spouse or the nature of any trials and tribulations that have had to have been gone through. And as your future spouse kind of heals and becomes a better version of themselves, it helps to soften those wounds. It brings in a lot of forgiveness. Um, you may start off as kind of seeing these people as maybe they've created some sort of boundaries or they're very kind of protective, guarded of themselves, very secretive. But as positive change starts to happen within your future spouse, it's almost like they're very willing to forgive. They're very compassionate. Uh, they're very invested in, in kind of the best interest of your future spouse. So it feels like your idea of them kind of evolves and changes over time because they demonstrate transformation. It's not just that you come into a place of sort of like forgiveness or, or empathy, but it's almost you you witness that, that these are people maybe very um, stubborn, but they can also be very stubborn to change when properly motivated. We also have ocean, ebb and flow. So it may be that there's a lot of strong personalities within this family, um, things where it's almost kind of opposites attract, but then at the same point in time, there may be people within the family unit. Maybe it's your future spouse and their parent or the future spouse and uh, siblings or, or any kind of in-laws where it's almost like it's almost like oil and water personalities that clash where they're just it's difficult to find a, a middle ground. Um, it's difficult to kind of keep the peace for very long. So there may be periods of time where people don't speak to one another or there's a lot of fights, there's a lot of agitation and it feels to be something that you sort of, something that you bring to the equation. Maybe it's in terms of communication style, unpacking these things, unpacking these kind of wounds or difficulties with your future spouse within the home that you create. It helps to ease some of that tension within kind of having to deal with certain family members. Um, it brings more of like a positive change or um, something that you learn to kind of ride those waves. Certain people within the dynamic that just won't change, other people that are able to change and um, how to sort of move around that without kind of taking things personally, um, you know, helping your future spouse as well to kind of overcome any woundedness from this, any sort of frustration with this, the idea that they have of what those interpersonal relationships should look like versus the actuality of what they are. It's almost like you see these 
individuals for what they are, a very kind of mixed bag as far as personalities are concerned and um, levels of wounding, levels of willingness to look at one another and look at themselves, um, people that are on very different evolutionary paths, but there's a sense of almost within this whole mix that, um, that there's a larger purpose for why you've kind of aligned with these individuals, some kind of soul tie, soul connection. There may even be a family member, maybe it's one of these parents, one of these in-laws, or like a sibling that you recognize as a kindred spirit, almost like a soulmate, somebody that uh, finally there's another person that sort of sees or, or comes up with a solution or a way that there has to be something repaired or fixed within the family unit. Um, so it may be where you find kind of an unexpected ally within that family unit as well. And we also have new life. So there may be things about your future in-laws. Um, it's very different from any one you've dealt with before. Um, ways in which they may be kind of old-fashioned, rooted in certain traditions, or have just kind of clung to a sense of woundedness and, and sort of don't look at that. They're not very self-reflective. Um, ways in which you may need to just sort of accept this, love these people for who they are, or accept them for who they are. Um, you know, and, and focus on kind of not allowing the nature of that and how it affects your future spouse to sort of detriment anything within the interpersonal dynamic. There's almost a sense of sort of you and your future spouse may be kind of required to um, sort of create your own family within the family, um, where there's almost kind of like a, a circle that's very insular with you and your future spouse, with your children, with any kind of children from previous relationships or previous marriages. And then there's kind of this wider spectrum of like the extended family where certain individuals, um, the in-laws, an in-law, a you know brother or sister-in-law, any kind of anybody from the extended sort of sphere, sphere may kind of come and go um, within this sort of closeness. But then there may also be people that it's it's just necessary to keep them at arm's length. People that may be sort of rooted in their toxicity. They're they're not ready to evolve. They're not ready to ascend. They're not ready to heal. They're not ready to let things go and release things. Um, but then also other people that may really surprise you, the ones that you would think wouldn't change, wouldn't be open-minded. It, it might be as positive change occurs within your future spouse, within the relationship that grows between the two of you. Other people in that kind of wider range really su surprise you as far as how they're on board with that, um, things that they open up about, things that they kind of endeavor to to do to sort of move on from things or, or heal from certain things to where it almost feels to be um, you're able to sort of take in this this group kind of uh, of individuals as some people are just needing to be accepted for who they are and, and, and other people... Um, kind of reinforce the the notion that yes change is possible um, yes people can evolve yes people can transform and and so it um, gives you a sense of of kind of deeper purpose as far as coming into this situation because it feels like there definitely might be some uh, challenging relationships to navigate that just sort of come with the package of your of your future spouse and um, so it helps you to kind of uh, see the bigger picture of that see the bigger kind of uh, lesson or, or the energy of being that observer and we also have happy, happy. Um, so it feels like overall, this is something to where, again, you will see these individuals as very well-meaning. They, they maybe have just kind of lost their way to happiness or, or things have literally happened that have been challenges that um, people haven't been able to recover from or, or it's brought out kind of the worst in them um, to where it's almost like you, you learn to kind of just rise above. It, it may really be kind of a test or an exercise for you as an individual, especially if you resonate as being an empath to a observe and not absorb. Um, something where, you know, your light, your energy, it, it may be very sort of refreshing to certain people and very triggering to other people within this family dynamic. Um, and so it feels like something it will really kind of, uh, you'll see this circumstance as something that's a great opportunity to learn to just laugh things off um, or to kind of rise above. Something where overall your relationship with your future spouse or your future spouse as a person, they improve exponentially. Things kind of a new leaf is turned for them. Things get better. It takes a positive upswing. And that feels to be something that's almost, that's what matters in the situation. Um, other of their family members who sort of turn things around within themselves or, or show a lot of support 
show a lot of growth, a lot of willingness to change. It feels like this brings in enough joy and it overcompensates for the other people that are just sort of stuck in their ways or um, rooted in that state of woundedness. Like overall, it's a very positive experience. Overall, in the course of this marriage, it feels like you go through many evolutions of how you view these individuals uh, connected to your future spouse. And overall, um, it's a very positive shift as far as um, people bringing out the best in one another. Kind of one person heals, healing spreads within that sort of um, little collective of individuals. So I'm going to get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name of you or somebody else in this equation or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got W, M, I, O, N, Y, M, I, P, R, H, N, S, O, U, and U. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. We chose the amethyst. So let's start by taking a look at what will your future in-laws think of you? receive. So there's a sense here that they will see you as somebody who is a really good manifester. You're able to create the life of your dreams by aligning with that frequency within. You essentially become that change in the world that you wish to experience and everything flows and follows from that. Um, something that it feels like may help to inspire your future spouse to kind of redefine the ways in which they define success itself um, or that they are building a life of success for themselves where things start to work out better for them, other opportunities come in for them that may have been kind of a challenge or struggle to um, sort of germinate or generate in other sorts of ways to where there's almost the sense of your future in-laws looking at you as your future spouse's good luck charm or something that you bring a lot of kind of just fresh perspective um, or a different sort of energy within the family unit that maybe helps everyone to feel more optimistic, everyone to sort of see things from a different perspective, everyone to um, kind of reach for or strive for more within themselves or, or within their own life because you, you make it look so effortless. Any kind of changes you've needed to go through um, in your own kind of experiences, there's a sense that any struggles that you've overcome, you, you've come out stronger, you've come out better, you've come out more radiant. And so it may be something that also encourages your, your in-laws or, or people within that extended family to go after those big dreams, to not be afraid of change, to surrender to the process of, uh, you know, transformation in order to align with a different sort of life. So it's almost a sense that they see you as well as um, kind of a quiet leader. You lead by example rather than sort of imposing your opinions on other people. Um, you just kind of live in your individuality and this inspires people to start to quest within themselves and, and to um, kind of take off an energy of self-restraint or limitations and blocks that have been self-imposed. Um, there's a sense that you bring in a very optimistic energy that helps other 
other people within this family dynamic really ask themselves, why not? Why can't I accomplish certain things? Why can't I do certain things? Um, maybe it's not too little too late. So it feels like very positive change that occurs um, or just a sense of people starting to sort of think about different sorts of things, think about something more for themselves, maybe even start to question the nature of their existence or, um, you know, what abundance means, what success means, what love means, what a, what a life well lived looks like. Um, you create a lot of sort of positive change within everybody. We also have curiosity. So there's a sense that your future in-laws might not know how to quite define you when they first meet you. Um, you may be somebody who's very unique. You've got a very unique um, lifestyle or, or your life experiences. It's nothing that they can kind of compare their experiences to. So it may take them time to kind of get to learn you, get to know you. Um, something where they may need to kind of warm up or adjust to you. Something that at first they, they may kind of view you in the energy of the other. Um, you're so different from anyone they've ever known or um, you know, you're, you are a reflection of a different side of their own child than they even knew existed. Um, and that might be something as well that starts to get them to kind of look at their own child in a different way. Um, what part of your personality, what part of your nature, what part of you would align with somebody like this, would, would be invited into the life of somebody like this. So it feels to be something that it may be a slow process of them kind of coming to accept you, um, you know, warming up to you, getting to know you. It, it may be something where they need to kind of research certain things or you expand their mind in some way. You um, defy expectations or beliefs that they've had, but it feels like it's something that overall they they come around. They they take the time to get to learn you. They, they spend time with you. They hear the way in which your future spouse speaks about you. Um, and over Overall, any kind of like fear or hesitation or guardedness or uncertainty, it gives way to a deep appreciation, a deep affection, um, a deep sense of gratitude that not just you are who you are and that you're in their life as, as like a daughter-in-law or as a son-in-law, um, but it's the sense that they almost feel that their life is richer for having encountered somebody like you, just as a person in general. Um, so maybe something about your life or the life you've lived is very unique, um, very different. They've never met anyone like you. And so over time, it's almost a sense that they value and appreciate you as uh, kind of an interesting person, a rare individual, um, somebody with a lot of character or or, um, you know, somebody that has overcome a lot of different things, uh, something where they really come to respect you because you are who you are because you've had to sort of uh, go through a process of becoming that. We also have rest deeply. So there's a sense that your future in-laws will see you as somebody who people are safe to be themselves with. You're a very non-judgmental person. You're somebody who's very open-minded. You're somebody that um, helps people to feel very comfortable to just be themselves. Uh, and this may be something that you're your appearance or the first impression that you give might be something where people just sort of look at that. They kind of judge you based on appearances for some reason. Um, but then when people take the time to get to know you, you're actually a very warm or friendly individual. You're a very accepting individual. You're a very kind individual. Um, you're somebody that holds a lot of space for, for others and their own kind of unique and individual uh, qualities. And so that's something it feels like that helps to build a level of respect um, within your future in-laws uh, as they evolve beyond this kind of energy of maybe judging based on appearances or, or things they hear about you, um, anything involved with kind of the nature of how you and, and their child sort of meet, uh, that they have to kind of get beyond that. They, they have to sort of learn to adapt to that. Um, when they get to know you as an individual, it's almost like they, they feel very comforted in your energy. Um, you know, it's, it's something maybe even irregardless of sort of who you are as a person, maybe their child's kind of dating history or people that they've been with previously have, have not been the best, haven't brought out, brought out the best in their child, or maybe they came out of a difficult experience previously, a previous marriage, a previous partnership. 
previous experiences in dating to where it could almost be that when you show up on the scene, your in-laws, your future in-laws don't have very high expectations. It hasn't been a great track record for your future spouse. And so they're naturally a little bit hesitant, a little bit guarded. Um, they're not going to warm up so quickly only to, you know, be disappointed or to, um, you know, have somebody sort of leave the equation. That might've been the case previously where they kind of accepted somebody else, um, invited them into the family, and then the relationship crumbled. And then, you know, there went that relationship. That could have been something where if a friendship had been established even, or, or just a closeness or accepting someone in to have to kind of decompartmentalize that, to have to mourn and release that loss to where when you come into the equation, they might not be so quick to just accept a new person. They might not be so quick to kind of with open arms say, welcome to our family. Um, but then it feels like as they take the time to get to know you, they see that you're a really good fit within the equation. Um, you know, your personality, who you are, the energy that you radiate, um, the ways in which you, you know, kind of bring out the best in your future spouse. You have your future spouse's best interests at heart or, um, you know, you're loving, you're caring, you're honest, you're open. All of these things kind of um, help to build trust within within your future in-laws and and then when they bring you into the fold when they accept you it's it feels to be something that's very deeply it's very genuine it's 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 very um, authentic and we also have trust your wisdom so they may see you as somebody who is wise beyond your years or you've been through difficulties things that um, it might be kind of surprising or shocking to them the things that you've been through and then you've come out as as kind of a you're still a loving person you're still a, a kind person experiences that could have hardened the hearts of individuals or would have broken individuals past the point of repair and you've come out stronger you've come out radiant you you've come out more empowered through those things that can be something as well that kind of they see you or view you with an energy of skepticism. If they had been through even maybe one of the things that you've been through, uh, it almost feels like something they feel they wouldn't have come out as well as you did. They wouldn't have survived. They they wouldn't have uh, been able to pick up the pieces or rebuild. So there's almost a sense of um, they're a bit standoffish at first because they don't maybe know how to receive somebody like you. How did you survive all of that? How did you come out the other side? How did you pick up the pieces of your life um, in the way that you did? How did you go through everything and, and you're, you're better, you're stronger, you're, you're more loving as opposed to um, kind of diminished in, in certain capacities. And so it may spark a degree of curiosity, but also sort of an initial degree of caution because they don't know how to process that. They don't know how to wrap their mind around it at first. And so it takes them time to get to know you, get to learn about you, get to hear those stories and then sort of witness whatever they discover, whatever they're told, or whatever you share with them about kind of your history, your personal history, or anything your future spouse shares with them, um, versus kind of the person that they meet, the person that they get to know. Um, it's a sense that they move from an energy of caution into almost awe. They almost look up to you or respect you in a way. You, you defy their expectations of what is possible, or you help them to kind of shake some sort of notion that like a leopard never changes its spots. There's a sense that through you, these individuals understand that change is possible. People can and do change, uh, that it takes work. It often takes miracles, but it's possible. Um, so it may be just as an individual, they become very inspired by you, very, ex very inspired by your living example, uh, by your story, by your experience, seeing you as an asset or, or a gift or um, almost a trap treasure in, in their lives and in the lives of your future spouse because if anyone is to to kind of be that um, person you'd want on your team or, or sort of the asset in times of trouble, they, they see that it's you. You're that person who can kind of navigate challenges and difficulties or help others to because you've done that for yourself. And we also have growing. So they see you or will see you as somebody very sweet, very caring, very kind, very compassionate. Um, they will see your energy or feel your energy as something that is very pleasant, um, something that brings forth a lot of positive and good vibrations, um, something to where your outlook on life is very refreshing or again, kind of um, your life experiences and the person that you've evolved and grown into. It's very inspirational. It's something that um, contributes to kind of setting a positive example 
of people in general. So um, maybe, you know, like a positive example of what an empowered woman looks like or a positive example of what an empowered man looks like, um, that it feels like your future in-laws will see that this is something that children within the family should be exposed to somebody like this, can look up to something like this, can can learn from somebody like this in a very positive way that um, you may see you as kind of like a teacher or a guide in some kind of capacity um, to navigate through challenges or to really radiate and embrace one's authentic self, kind of leading from the heart. It feels to be something that um, it'll reach a point within your kind of relation with these individuals where they may be very proud of you and want to kind of like share you or brag about you or, or show you off to other people, to their friends, to people within their community. Um, something that once they get over that kind of hurdle of just not knowing how to receive somebody like you, not knowing what to make of someone like you, not knowing what to think of someone like you, never having encountered someone like you before, once they get to know you, it's, it's almost the sense of, um, again, they're, just, they're, they're very proud of you. Your accomplishments are something that they celebrate as if they were your parents or, or they were your brothers and sisters. Um, somebody where, you know, they, they won't just kind of say, oh, this is my child's spouse, but it's, it's something that they may kind of refer to you as their child as well um, or, or really celebrate your accomplishments, want to really sort of see you continue to grow, see you thrive, feeling that you're very kind of positive addition to the family unit. And we also have positive intentions. So they will see you as a very genuine, caring, well-meaning person, a very high vibrational person, um, somebody who lights up the rooms that you enter, you raise the vibration, um, you help people to become open-minded in a very positive way something where they may also see that there's a gentleness about you, even if you're very, um, you know, headstrong, or very individualistic, very independent, um, there's a sense that you're also very gentle, you're very well-meaning, um, you know, you're somebody who you've kind of earned this version of you, you've had to work for this version of you, and so whatever kind of personal pride you take in that, um, this is something that it's matched and even exceeded in ways uh, by your future in-laws as they, as they kind of get to know you as a person as they even sort of witness that change is not just a linear thing but you may be kind of uh, committed to growth and evolution over just the course of your life that might be you know your path you may be somebody who's a very spiritual person or you know, you're committed to abundance and success for yourself in a well-rounded way. And so as they experience you over time and they kind of, they meet one version of you, they hear about a version of you, they meet a version of you, and they witness kind of the ever-evolving versions of you, it feels to be something that continues to fill them with like an admiration and respect and, and just a sense that their child is very lucky to have someone like you in their life. Um, and that the family in general is very lucky to have someone like you as as an addition to that equation. So let's see what you will think of your future in-laws. Okay, we have milk and honey. Um, so it feels like you'll see these people as very kind of warm, very jovial once you get to know them. Um, they may be people who are very kind of discerning as far as who they invite into kind of that inner sanctum, the inner family circle. But once trust is earned, once they've kind of accepted you as their own, um, these are people who are not shy. They will not limit the amount of affection, praise, acceptance, curiosity um, that is bestowed upon people. Um, these may be individuals who value family extremely. Family comes first or, or it could be a very close-knit family unit. And so it almost feels to be something that 
it feels really good to be included within that. The nature of how these individuals kind of celebrate one another, celebrate one another's successes. Um, you know, that feels to be something that's almost, there's not a lot of competition, but there's an energy of cooperation within this family unit. Uh, that might be very different from what you've experienced in your own sort of family of origin. Um, it may even be something if you, for example, are like the scapegoat or the black sheep within your family. Um, you know, this might be something where you're almost celebrated as kind of one of the golden children within the family um, or, or somebody who's accepted for those those kind of quirks and nuances as far as who you are and um, the way you live your life that, that could really help to sort of fill in any deficits of, of a need to kind of become independent or um, heal any sort of wounds, maybe of rejection from your own sort of family of origin. You find that level of acceptance maybe you are always hoping for, always seeking within sort of your in-laws, within that kind of um, extended family unit that your future spouse brings into, into the marriage and in, into the equation from their side. So it feels to be something that um, creates positive memories as far as the ways in which families can relate to one another or in which the ways in which you can be celebrated as a family member, albeit not within kind of your blood family, but within your, your family by marriage. You're, you're almost celebrated in certain ways more than you would be within your own kind of natural family. And we have go the distance. Um, so you may see your future in-laws as people who are willing to go to extreme lengths to kind of shower people with love, show up and support individuals. They may really go out on a limb for one another or they're there in times of trouble. They kind of rally all the troops and everybody's on board. Um, when somebody needs encouragement, when somebody's having success, um, when someone experiences a milestone, there's a sense of um, being deeply involved in one another's lives, but also, um, um, having kind of healthy boundaries and respect where everybody's living their individual lives, but there there may be a constancy of contact or, or just a sense of um, being very aware of what goes on in everybody's realities, which could be very different as well from what you've experienced, where maybe you only get together with your family at holidays or um, on the other side of that equation, it may be something on your end that was very kind of toxic, people um, very codependent or trauma bonds or um, kind of hovering or intrusive parent relationships. Uh, and it feels to be something that's very different within the in-law dynamic where there's a closeness, but also a respect for personal space and boundaries. And we also have Gaia nurturing. So there is a sense again of like family comes first. You will see your um, future in-laws as as people that the, the family unit is the strongest unit. These are not just family members. They are friends with one another. Um, there's a sense that they really come together to support one another, nurture one another's dreams. It, it could be where, um, you know, lots of people sort of contribute to elevating people towards those dreams or, um, you know, have, have kind of, um, participated a lot or, or provided a lot in order to open doors of opportunities for individuals, for family members, um, to pursue whatever path or whatever calling people were drawn toward, um, to where it's almost a sense of feeling that, you know, if you have children uh, with your future spouse, or there's already kind of children in the equation, there's a sense that almost, um, with the idea of like, it takes a village to raise a child. This is the way that this family unit is. Everybody kind of comes on board to, to help, to contribute, to nurture, to participate. Um, a lot of deep interpersonal bonding that takes place, it feels like on a, on a constant basis, um, which it feels like will help you as far as, you know, any kind of burdens as being a parent or um, even just witnessing a different way in which kind of children factor into the equation or family members factor into the equation. Ways in which you, again, will also feel very celebrated, very nurtured, very included within kind of that nexus of the larger kind of family uh, family unit. You're not just somebody's plus one or somebody's spouse. Um, you know, you, you become invited in as that, that new kind of honorary son or daughter um, after that kind of vetting out period or, or they take the time to get to warm up to you and, and then it's a very inclusive experience. 
And we also have childhood innocence. Um, so this kind of speaks to the idea of people that may be a little bit old fashioned, um, people that may kind of have a lot of traditions or, or things that they sort of adhere to or celebrate that can be very sort of heartwarming, but also very different um, from what your experiences are. So maybe if holiday gatherings are something that are very casual or not something that um, people regularly participate in or even are very kind of tense, um, or just sort of everybody shows up, grabs a plate of food and kind of goes and does their thing. There, there may be certain kind of, um, events that take place or traditions that take place or, or a sense of like, we eat at this time, we dress up for these occasions. There, there's a certain almost program that is followed that has been uh, passed down multi-generationally, maybe even something where this is kind of a larger family unit. And so you get the experience of like multi-generations of people, um, you know, in-laws, aunts and uncles, cousins, grandparents, all these extended kind of people um, to where it may be something that is it could feel almost like the types of experiences and get togethers, not just at holidays, but, um, you know, be regular kind of occurrences with people, Sunday dinners or, um, you know, graduations, promotions, everything is sort of celebrated. Everything has its, its, its kind of moment to shine where they, they may spend a lot of time with one another but it's rooted in a very um, almost like family comes first mentality uh, that may be very different from what you've experienced growing up. And, and so this can help to, again, kind of create different sorts of memories for you um, from anything that you've experienced with within your childhood. And it feels like something as well that, um, you know, as far as your family is concerned, your future in-laws will definitely welcome your family members within the fold of their family. It's almost like they accept you, they bring everybody on board. So so it feels to be kind of a larger sort of gathering experience. It's it's not just like you're participating with your future spouse's family. It's almost like you and your family now have gained a larger family and vice versa. And we have heed the messengers. So um, this may be something where your future in-laws take conversation or discussions very seriously. They may be um, intellectual people, very educated people, um, or very just kind of beginner's mind, curious sort of people, um, people that may have a lot of kind of technical skills and knowledge or um, the nature of like dinner time conversations. It's, it's not just chit chat. It's not just talking about the weather or sports. It's, it's deep conversations. It's esoteric conversations. It's, it's very kind of high level conversations and, and that might be something that um, creates for almost like an engaging or stimulating experience of um, not just sort of we're filling time around the table or you know, saying pleasantries uh, just to sort of uh, dispel any kind of awkward silence, but there's a sense of you, your mind is kind of opened or very enriched by the experience of kind of how all these people sort of look at the world, the things that they're interested in, the things that they are knowledgeable about, um, and vice versa. It kind of ties into the idea that they will be a little bit sort of discerning as far as your concern because they've never maybe met anyone like you. They've never encountered anyone that's had the same sort of experiences or, um, you know, just whatever that sort of looks like, but they are curious people. It feels that they are very um, eager to sort of learn things and to know things, but also not quick to jump to conclusions. This is this is the kind of energy where um, they will take time to really research something, observe something, and then make decisions. And we also have nourish the soul. So this feels to be the energy that you will see your future in-laws as very people deeply rooted, maybe within some sort of faith or tradition, um, or, or almost the sense again of like family comes first and not just as a cliche, but in terms of actions that are really proven where um, these are people who are, are with one another, are very um, loyal to one another through good times and bad. Um, something where your future spouse, their main support system in life in a lot of ways, may be their family. And so it, it could be something to where you're not just marrying your future spouse, you are really Really also um, kind of taking on board all of these people, not just because it's their family, but because this is what is important to them. This is what matters. 
This also can be a sense, though, um, again, of, of sort of their family kind of vetting you out because their child is, is so meaningful, not just it's their child, but this is somebody they're invested in as a person, as a human being, as an individual. Um, and so in order to kind of create a space for you within that sort of uh, range of love within themselves, there there's a need to kind of get to know you, um, study you, learn you, kind of experience you over the course of time. And, and then when they open up, it's it's not just the energy of you're accepted or tolerated, but you're, you're really brought into, it feels like, an experience of the ways in which human beings can gather and show up for one another that family or not may really sort of exceed your experiences and your expectations of how people can truly support one another. It nears something, you, it feels like you'll recognize kind of your future in-laws as that dynamic or those individuals, kind of that the way that all sort of plays upon itself. It is closer to the idea of like a group setting of unconditional love or, or a willingness to sort of strive towards that or, or towards acceptance than you've experienced in other um, situations in your life, friendships or, or family experiences or even kind of community. There's a sense of almost this family unit is like a community within a larger community. And so it feels to be something that you will see it as an honor to be sort of welcomed into that, to be brought in as part of that pack, brought into that fold, that it's not something where trust is given easily or um, affection or acceptance is just given lightly. Um, and so it feels like something as much as they will treasure and honor you as like a valued member, you will treasure and honor all of them as, as a valued member then of, of, of the collective within your heart as well. So I'm going to get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name of you or somebody else in this equation or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. Got X, U, W, B, E, D, C, F, L, N, I, Z, O, T, V, A, and Y. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well.